Hello everyone. Let's understand another topic under Azure ML Prompt Flow series and in this video I will be talking about evaluating the prompt flow. So there are two ways of evaluating. One is using the custom and the second one is using the built-in evaluation methods. So in this video we will focus only on the built-in evaluation methods. So let's get started and in this video I have already created a workflow. So if you are not sure how I came up on this page then I would recommend you to watch my at least the initial one or two videos that will give you pretty much good idea how I created this prompt flow. So let's get into this prompt flow and here you can see on the top right there is a button evaluate. So click on this button evaluate and we are doing evaluation because we want to analyze the performance of our model. So let's say we are giving some input and how model is uh, taking those input whether it is giving correct answer is expected or it is giving some incorrect or is it skipping our questions. So that is the overall agenda of this evaluation. So here we need to provide the display name so you can go with this one or you can even change it. So I will go with this one itself then click on next. Here we have two different versions like automatic runtime and the compute instance. So if you are using this flow for the production then it is recommended to use the compute instance. Okay, so I will go with the compute instance runtime and then you need to select the compute instance which is, we have already created and this is a place where we need to input our data on which we want to run this evaluation. So these are the ones which I am not going to select rather I will be adding a new data set which I have created and I will name it as uh, data version 1 and I will be uploading a local file so if you want you can upload a folder itself so let's go ahead and add this JSON-L file okay and here you can see that things are automatically populated the question is automatically mapped to the question and these are the initial five rows from my text data so I will click on next so this was the part where I was talking that we have two uh, evaluation methods. The first one is the custom, uh, customized and the second one is the built-in. So I will talk about this customized version in a while but let's first understand the built-in version. So under built-in you have several evaluation ways. You can choose any of these depending on what do you want to evaluate. So in my case I will simply go with, the, we can go with the, this one like compute the quality of answers based on the retrieved documents so I will go with the RAG evaluation and click on next. Now here uh, what we need to do is we need to provide the runtime as well as the name of the run which we just created so these are auto populated in case if it is not then you have to provide it so if you will look at the runtime if you are having multiple runtimes configured then you may have to choose one. Now this is the place where we need to configure the parameters for our evaluation. So let's input our file first. So this is my file and here I need to, okay so here is asking for documents as well. I think I should choose some other model because the input which I am giving is not having the documents. Rather I am having only question, answer and the context. So in this particular scenario it's not going to work. Let me quickly choose the another one. Uh, let's next and rather than this one I would say this one Q&A evaluation and this time I believe we should get the required ones or oh, no it is also not having so there are two ways either you can update your uh, input uh, data set that I don't want to do it because it's a very time consuming process so that's the reason I am selecting the model which works with my data set. So let me choose something else. Let's choose a re relevance evaluation. Relevance evaluation. Let's go with this one. Click on next. Okay, so these are the three parameters which I am having because in my input data set I just provided these three. But if you are having multiple uh, parameters like your ground truth or what is your 
expected answer or which category your data is from then you have to choose some other uh, models so this is the model which is working uh, this is the evaluation metric which is working very well with my input data so i'm going with this one and here you can see it is automatically mapped but in case if it doesn't map then you can quickly do it okay so here we need to provide the connection so that it can interact with our llm Once this is done, let's go ahead and submit this. It's not going to take much time. Let's give it a few seconds and it will be done. And you can see in the top right, it is submitted successfully. So click on this link, view run list, and it will take you to the run. So it is still running. We need to wait until it is done. Like my data set is not very huge, so it should not take much time here. I am refreshing it so that we'll get to know once it is done. You can see it is completed let's click on let's refresh it once again you can click and then say visualize outputs so this is the one way so these are the input questions and uh, evaluation was uh, evaluation ran against all these and you can see the status is complete it means all of the inputs were considered and these were the outputs uh, provided by the model based on our question so if you want to know, you can just view output and it will tell you all the matrices. So what it is saying is this is the input uh, question. So is homelessness related to poverty? So here it is saying, yes, these are interrelated. And then here, this is the answer uh, which I gave in my data set. And this is the context from which it got picked. And here you can see the relevance score. Relevance score is like the, like to which extent or till what extent responses are generated based on our input data. So this is the one. Then you have another question. Let me show you one more. So now I'm asking a question. What do you think about today's politics? So it is saying, I'm sorry, but I'm not programmed to provide opinions on politics and all these topics. And in my data set, I just mentioned, I don't know. So you can see that how descriptive it is and how relevant it is. But according to this, looks like it is not relevant. So that's the reason its relevant score is one. So we need to improve the score. We need to provide better uh, responses, better data, as well as we need to get some better this JSON L file so that we can get more concrete responses. So right now I have done on very small set, but feel free to do it or execute it on a huge file where you have this data ready. So let's switch it off and you can see only this much. So this is what I was planning to show. And another thing was uh, the custom one. So what you can do is you can go to flow create and here you can see evaluation flow so under evaluation flow you can create your flow i'm not going to deep dive into it because i'm planning to cover it in my next video so i'm just naming it as evaluation flow and it will go ahead and create a flow for us So you can see the flow is created. You need to provide or configure all these parameters. And once you save it, you should be able to use this flow uh, inside our prompt. So let me quickly show you over here. So we can open this one and we can click on evaluate. Uh, just click on next. Uh, I would click on next and here you can see that the new flow got added here so probably in next video or after that I will be talking a little bit more about it but in this video let's stick to the built-in evaluation and understand you can try all these matrices whichever is relevant to you and if you're not sure what all these are you can just click on the view details and it will tell you that what it is all about and what it is going to do and these are the prerequisites so definitely you can 
give a shot to it and that's all i have for today thanks for watching